How long have I encountered 100% design? Well, could I say 20 years? 20 years. Um, it was uh, on a dark, wet night that Ian Rudge invited me to become part of the selection committee. Uh, and that year, for some peculiar reason, there was a dynamism that I found happening in, in London. And uh, as a small group of creatives, we, um, we started selecting work and I, I exhibited work through the Liberty Group there that year. When we started the show at uh, the Duke of York's HQ, you know, right in the middle of uh, the King's Road, the stories that I have really was this sort of strange balance between uh, uh, effectively public school kids running around in the playground opposite us, this tented structure in the heat, and one year the whole place exploding with daddy long legs and crane flies. Um, we'd actually built the tent over what effectively was the nesting ground of the crane flies, and for most of the show we spent our time squashing these ready bugs. But uh, yeah, no, it was great. The tent, I think, was uh, sorely missed when we moved, but it had to get bigger and Earl's Court was the centre from then on. Well, the products that I launched at the show were predominantly furniture. Um, I was very fortunate to be working as an architect for Muji, and we launched a range of uh, Knockdown and KD furniture, as well as work for Liberty Brand Products. So the show itself has encompassed many, many manufacturers and creatives and been really a springboard for the launch of new products, especially in the UK. And I think that's really the uniqueness of 100% design. It has been able to capture a lot of what is unique about the London scene and the British scene in terms of art and design. The main people that have influenced me have been the manufacturers that have stood by the creatives in this country. Um, the names that spring to mind obviously will be people like uh, Ercole, who, who have been I think at the heart of the renaissance of British contemporary furniture. You know this whole notion of a classic feel but with a twist. I guess really you know for people who came along I remember seeing Paul Smith there it, it was a kind of uh, for the first time, we actually had a 3D creative show that was, w that was actually beginning to influence people in the fashion and media. Well, the main impact uh, has been its longevity. I mean, 20 years is a long time to, uh, to be so consistent. Uh, the impact, I think, hopefully, will be with uh, the next generation of creatives who know that there is actually role models out there of, of creatives who have actually produced their work, manufactured globally, and had a tremendous commercial success.